Hey everyone, Ray Del Vecchio here, and today I want to show you how to install WordPress on your HostGator web hosting account. And just a quick background, I've used this exact same setup to build dozens of websites in the last eight years. So HostGator is really reliable, and I recommend them to everybody who wants to create a website that I come in contact with. So with that in mind, I want to show you today how you can sign up with them for only one cent for the web hosting plus the domain cost so you're gonna be able to get started for under fifteen dollars and you can be online within a matter of a day or two so let's jump right into it now I'm on the HostGator homepage here and one thing that you'll notice is they do have an option for WordPress hosting if you're just getting started you're likely not gonna need this this is more for websites that have been around a while and have traffic like for instance look at the starter plan you can have up to 25,000 visits per month. And let me tell you, if you're just starting out a website, you're not going to have that many. So what I recommend is going to the web hosting tab over here and opting for either the hatchling plan or the baby plan, depending on whether you want uh, to set up a single domain or multiple domains. So today, for this example, I'm going to show you going through the hatchling plan, which is the cheapest option for you to get started. So let me click the Sign Up Now button and this is where you're gonna either register your domain or if you already registered the domain somewhere else like GoDaddy you can click this tab but for this example I'm just gonna type in a fake domain here example domain 123.com and you, you choose the extension from this drop down and you'll see that it'll automatically validate that domain name to see if it's available and this one is for thirteen dollars a year or twelve ninety five a year and what we want to do to get the lowest cost is uncheck all these boxes for add-ons so domain privacy you don't need this in the beginning we could always add this stuff on later uh, if the website you know is going to be around for years but for the time being just to get started we're going to go for all the cheapest options so this is the hatchling plan by default they put you on a billing cycle of three years which means you're going to get the best monthly price if you're prepaying for three years I'm going to change this to one month. You would enter your username and security pin right here. And you can pay with your billing info here either via credit card or PayPal if you have a PayPal account. And then with the additional services, I want to uncheck these once again to make sure that we're getting the best price. And you'll notice the price here is $23.90. So the way to get the one month for a penny is to use the coupon code 1WP Hosting. So if you type in 1WP Hosting and click the validate button, uh, you'll see that our total is now $15.95. And that is $12.95 for the domain for the one year and one cent for your first month of hosting. And as I'm looking at this, I think they added on something again when I change the uh, the information. It looks like I have 2.99 for oh uh, yeah this this uh, hack alert monitoring. So they <laughs> it looks like they added that back on when I when I uh, updated the code. So if you go back and uncheck that, we have our total of 12.96. From here, you would just click the I have read uh, and agree to the terms of service, and then check out. And HostGator at that point is going to send you two accounts. You're going to get account information, a username and password for your HostGator billing, and you're also going to get a username and password to log into your cPanel. And the cPanel is where you manage the details of the hosting for your domain. So if you wanted to set up email addresses or email forwarders, you would do it through cPanel. And that's also where you install WordPress. So that's the next step. I'm going to log into the cPanel and show you how to install WordPress. All right, so I'm on the cPanel page, and to get to this, I'm on one of my demonstration domains, which is d2demos.com. And to get to the cPanel, you just add slash cPanel to that. So d2demos.com slash cPanel. And obviously, you're going to substitute with yourdomain.com slash cPanel, whatever you register. And from here, we can log in. And once you log into cPanel, your, yours might look a little bit different. I know they've just updated the interface for some of my accounts. But regardless, what you want to do is scroll down to the Software and Services section and look for this button called Quick Install. 
And the quick install is the way that you can quickly install a suite of services, but obviously we're looking for WordPress specifically. So we want to click on the WordPress tab right here. And you can see that they give you paid options if you want a, a premium theme. We're not going to do that. We're going for the free version. So we click this button, install WordPress. And what you'll notice is they, they want to ask you where you want to install WordPress. So we're going to install it on the main domain. And then this is the any path that you want to install it under. So you might want to install it on a location, say, slash blog. I would say 90% of the time you're not going to do it on a sub uh, domain or a separate path here. You're going to do it on the main domain. But since I'm using um, a demonstration domain, I'm going to do this under the subpath WP2017. And here you're going to type in your information. And we will click install WordPress to get this process going. And once again, they're going to try and upsell you with some of this stuff. So you can either exit out or click this no thanks, I'm a web designer. And when the install is complete, you're going to see this bar up here. It tells you your install is complete. And you can click this drop down to get your username and your password information. And they'll also provide a link to where WordPress is installed. So let me copy the password here. And I will click this link to go to the WordPress login page. And from here, I can type in the information that they just provided me to log into WordPress. And you'll notice here we go. We're uh, we're good to go. And I use a service called LastPass to manage all my passwords. And that's what you see this green bar up here. For this, I'm just going to exit out of it. But you, you might want to look into LastPass because I find it's great for securely managing all your passwords for several accounts. But here we go. I mean, we can start setting up our WordPress website right here. So in conclusion, like I said, I highly recommend HostGator. They're literally the only hosting service that I've used for the last eight years. And I've had experience with maybe three or four other hosting companies through working with clients. And let me tell you, HostGator has been the best out of all of them, both in terms of the customer service and the speed of the website. So use them with confidence. And I highly recommend that you use the coupon code 1WPHosting to get the best deal. If this video helped you, be sure to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day and get your website up and running as soon as possible.